I'm ready to embrace the day. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. I sold a couple of plates. Pretty happy with this sale. I think I have $2 invested and I sold these two plates for $29.95 plus shipping. They didn't even make an offer, so that was pretty cool. But I'm going to pick out these plates and show you some of the things that I do to pack them, some of the supplies that you'll need to pack and ship plates, and some new boxes that I ordered from eBay on my free shipping supplies, which I think are going to work out really good for this. So let me get the camera turned around and show you the plates and some of the things that I'll be using to pack and ship them. So here are the plates, and you can see I have a styrofoam plate separating styrofoam or paper towel or something separating all my plates to protect them. But these are the two plates on top. So let me get those out. Set those over here. And here's the other one. So very pretty. I'll tell you about them once I get them over to my work table. I'm down in my family room where I keep all my hard goods and my boxes of clothing on the other side of the room. All right, these plates are by Midstate Products. They are trimmed in 22 karat gold trim, made in Lynchburg, Virginia. So they're really pretty. I picked them up at a church rummage sale. I'll make sure I have this straight. I don't know. They're, they are decorative plates for hanging on the wall. Now I did put on the listing that they need these things replaced on the back. It doesn't come with the hangers, just the, the um, decor plates. Decorative use only, it says, not for food, not for serving. I don't think anybody would use them for that anyway. So let me get the camera turned around again and show you some of the packing supplies that I'll be using to pack these pretty little plates so they arrive safely. One of the first things you'll need is some tissue paper. And I, I know I can buy it probably cheaper online if I want to buy a ream of it, but I just picked these up at the Dollar Tree, 35 sheets. It, I like the weight of it. It works fine. And I always pick up five at a time, so I have plenty on hand. Also at the Dollar Tree, I pick up styrofoam plates. I get the eight and seven eighths, and I get the 10 and a quarter. And those you only get 14. What I use most of, honestly, is this uh, 30 count eight and seven eighths. So you'll want some styrofoam plates from, if maybe you have some already, or pick them up at the dollar store and then some large bubble wrap. And I like to use half inch bubble wrap. I am down to next to nothing. Let me show you how little bubble wrap I have. I have some on order and because of the COVID, it's been delayed in shipping while well, the company was closed for a little bit too. But I found some online for 250 feet of the half inch bubble wrap for only $19 and something. I got a special on it. I don't know that it's always 19. It's coming in this week, and this is all I have left. But while I'm out today, I might check around and price check what bubble wrap is going for. Now, a lot of people have the small bubble wrap on hand. This is about oh, barely a quarter, well, about a quarter inch thick. I'm trying to show you here how thin that quarter inch bubble wrap is compared to the half inch. Of course, obviously, you know the difference in size, but it would take lots and lots of this bubble wrap to equal the half inch bubble wrap. The small bubble wrap is really just to protect the finish on things. It does absolutely nothing for protection from breakage. I'm sorry, it just doesn't cut it unless you use 10, 10 sheets of it maybe wrapped around. So I highly recommend that you invest in some half inch bubble wrap. I wasn't real impressed with this last order that I got here. I think I got this off of Amazon. I thought it was fairly deflated on the bubbles, so I will let you know if I like this new company and I'll recommend it if uh, I like the bubble wrap when it comes in. And guess what else I sold in less than 24 hours? I'm going to miss him. He was in my video yesterday. If you watched my international listing video, he's behind me. Do you see him? What do you think I'm talking about? Yeah, this little guy sold my little purple cow. Let me get over here. My little purple cow sold. So I'm going to have to get this little creamer, adorable little purple bull. I say cow, but purple bull from uh, Japan, like I said, for my international 
video and get this shipped out, so maybe I'll show you that too. I don't know if you've ever been excited about a box before, but I am. For, with my free eBay shipping supplies this time, I got in these 12 and a half by 12 and a half adjustable boxes. Yes, they have um, embossed lines here where you can fold it. I don't know if you can see those lines, but you can fold it where you want it to be. Of course, I'm pretty good with a, a ruler and my pen to adjust where I want my lines, but basically, you can fold this up and adjust the box. It can be used for anything that's square or in my case anything that's round, you know, like these plates. So this is going to work out really well. And what else do I want to tell you? A um, couple of things I've got to run out. So I'm going to price check some bubble wrap. I know Walgreens has it. I know Lowe's has it. You know, when you go to buy bubble wrap, it's the bottom line is how much does it cost per sheet? Bubble wrap comes in 12 inch perforations. And so what you're paying per sheet is what you want to check. It might sound like a really good deal, but take that 250 feet, square feet, and divide that into the price and know how much you're paying per sheet. You might be surprised. Of course, if you can get free packing supplies at the stores, that's great. I'm always looking for free packing supplies. If they're clean, no smell, no scent, no food, nothing that anybody would be allergic to, I'll pick up uh, and the least amount of writing as possible on boxes and also uh, clean packing supplies. That's important. So I have to run out today and I will be back and I will show you complete pack and ship on these sh packing and shipping these little decorative plates. And also I'll show you how I pack and ship the little purple bowl, the little creamer. I'm going to miss that little guy, but you know, I can't keep everything. I'm a reseller, you know, I got to resell this stuff. All right. I will see you later. Bye. Keep watching because I'll be back in no time. I thought I'd jump over to eBay here and just show you real quick the uh, eBay branded boxes, the 12 and a half by 12 and a half flat adjustable that I ordered from the eBay shipping supplies. Now I did have to pay sales tax out of pocket. As you know, we get a $50 credit and these cost $48.30. They are not cheap by no means, but until I find another company selling something like this, I guess this is where I'll get them. See, I told you it wouldn't be long before I would be back. Stopped at Walgreens, dropped off my FedEx package, checked the bubble wrap, all they have a small, very expensive. Stopped at Lowe's, checked their large and small bubble wrap, and I'll put that information in here somewhere in the video. And of course, we had to try some takeout. We've been eating at home so much and got uh, takeout at our favorite Mexican restaurant. And all I want to do right now is take a siesta. I'm so tired. I ate too much. We brought it home. It was really good, but I am so tired. <laughs> but I have these plates to pack and ship. So let me get the camera turned around, show you what I'm going to do to get these plates ready to put them in the mail. So come pack and ship with me. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do is wrap each plate and just one piece of tissue paper. It's just a nice presentation for the customer. Okay, remember those styrofoam plates that I have? I'm going to put one on the bottom, one between the plates, Then the, then the uh, decorative plate and then one on top. So I have a sandwich of three plates with the plates that I'm selling. And I'm going to take some heavy duty packing tape. This is Scotch brand, but this is a duck brand dispenser. My um, Scotch brand dispenser just got worn out. So I'm using the duck brand. Get a long piece of tape. Do the opposite side and then do opposite sides again. It may not look really pretty, but I don't care. I've now given them a layer of protection. Now it's time to add the large bubble wrap. I'm going to use four sheets of the 12 by 12 bubble wrap. And I'm going to just roll this. Before I tape it, I'm going to check it and see if I feel any um, areas that aren't protected, but it feels pretty good. Again, using the packing tape. 
and I'm going to put tape on each end. All right, let's check this against the box. Let me get the box. Now, you know this is an adjustable box, so I can fold this pretty much wherever I want to. And these are the sides, and I can also um, adjust these. So I have to decide how much more bubble wrap I want to add here. And I actually think I'm going to um, add some more. Okay, so I've played around with a few things, and something about this box you should know is that it prefers to probably only be about two and a half inches thick when it's completely closed up. You can see here it's not closing all the way. If I had only one plate in here, I'd be good to go, but I have two, which means I have to consider this uh, situation I have of not filling in the center, but I always keep some extra cardboard around. So this is what I'm going to do. First of all, even though it has score lines on the box, I showed you it has score lines, I went ahead and took a ruler and a pen and I made my own score line where I wanted it. I added an extra inch above the last score line. So I've created, instead of a fold here, I've created a fold there. So I added an extra inch. All right, and I did that on both sides and I also did that on the ends. I created a fold a score line where I wanted it. When I say a score line, I take a ruler, I mark it off with a pen, and then I take either a uh, ballpoint pen closed or this is just a staple puller, something that you can score and draw a line along your mark. Wherever you want to create the new fold in the box, you draw a line and score it with something. So this is what I'm doing. I'm rolling up some bubble wrap on the ends to fill in that space. I've got some extra bubble wrap tucked around the side to fill this space in. And I've rolled up some bubble wrap here. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and get this insert in here. I'm going to hold it all together. And I'm going to, um, well, let me show you on this side first, so it'll be easier for you. I'm just going to square everything up, squaring everything up. I've got the extra cardboard in the center and I need to get some tape. So I need to hold this down. And I'm just gonna get some temporary tape, meaning I'll tape it better, and I'll just get my corners squared up. Oh, I do like to put a thank you note on here, so let me grab my thank you note. So I ran upstairs and got my little thank you note that I run 30 up on a, a sheet of labels. Peel one off. Put it on the package. I'm not doing packing slips right now because of COVID. I'm trying not to write on or handle too much of anything. I, okay, I'm going to put some music on while I do this taping. Okay, I've got the four corners taped. I'll tape them better. And let me go ahead and get the center part taped down. I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm going to um, put some tape to fix the center piece in place so it doesn't shift around. That's pretty good. So the corners are taped, but I'm going to add more. This is taped in place, but I'm going to tape some more so again I'll put some music on and I'll be right back. You can never use too much tape, too much bubble wrap. I feel very good about how secure it is. I've taped it really well through the center. I've cross taped it. Every corner is taped. As you saw, I put a piece here and here. The plates are good to go. I'm going to get them weighed and get them in the mail. So I have my little scale here. I have my label weight. Putting this all on the scale, two pounds, 3.7 ounces. I allowed for three pounds, so I'm good to go.
Just to let you know, I measured the box. It came out to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half by three and a quarter. So I'm gonna get that label on here. I said the package was two pounds, 3.7 ounces. When I listed on eBay for the shipping, I have to round up. So two pounds is good, but I rounded up the 3.7 to four ounces. I said the dimensions were 12 and a half by 12 and a half. I rounded them up to 13 by 13. And the three and a quarter, if it's under three and a half, you can actually round it down. So I put three. This is coming in at 7.98. It's going to North Carolina from Tennessee. So I say that's a pretty good price on shipping. So the plates are done and move on to the, the cow. Although I'm still waiting for it to be paid. I hope it gets paid before this video is done. This cute little bull, this little creamer. I love the purple. We actually have a restaurant here called Purple Cow. So this little guy hasn't been paid for yet, but I am set up. I have my stuff out. I have my camera set up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly how I protect it with the tissue paper and little things that I do. And then I will get a box picked out for it and hopefully it will be paid soon. All right, let me get the camera turned around. It's pretty simple. The first thing I do, I have to fill this hollow area, which I call a void or hollow area. You've seen this in my other pack and ship so I'll probably put some music on while I fill this up with tissue paper because I know it doesn't sound very good. It's filled up. Now I take the tissue paper from the corner and you've probably seen me do this before. Run my hand from corner to corner and I'm going to wrap this around all the fragile areas starting with his head. I'm going to wrap it around, apply a little piece of tape, I'm going to get another piece. Okay, let's wrap this again. And it kind of come up through his horns a little bit. You basically just do the best you can. Okay, so I have this hollow area in the tail. Let's fill that with some tissue paper. I'm going to cut off a small piece. And we're going to stuff this in the tail, just pushing up to it. It's protected, the tail's protected, if you can see that. Now, let's do the corner technique again. More tissue paper. And then I'm just going to wrap the whole thing in tissue paper. You can Then I actually write a little note that says, please unwrap slowly and carefully. Do not tug or pull. There are several layers of tissue paper wrapped around him. Thank you. I do this because someone broke something once by trying to pull off the tissue paper and they finally pretty much fessed up to it when I challenged them of how well I wrapped it that it should not have been broken. And I asked them if they tugged on it. So now I put a note in here just to let them know, be careful. All right, bubble wrap is next. I have two sheets of bubble wrap. I'm trying to check and feel to make sure everything's covered pretty well. I've got a spot here that it's the seam. I'm not liking how that feels. That will be at the top, but I might adjust this just a little bit. I want to make sure the bottom has the best bubble. Okay, that feels pretty good. Let's get some tape on here. I'm going to tape the ends. As you know, I often leave the little corners or wings as I call them. I need my thank you note. Oh, thank you. And now i got to find a box. See what it's going to fit into. I'm going to recycle this Amazon box. I took off all my labels. I'm going to open this box and turn it inside out. How am I going to do that after I flatten it? Well, these seams aren't as strong as what you think. That's why sometimes you, it's good to put tape over them. Let me get a hold of it. Just running my fingers under it, or my thumb. It's opened. 
going to reverse it. It's going to get taped back together here. Doesn't look real pretty, but um, got a little bit torn up. So I think I'm going to put this on the outside instead of the inside. So I just kind of get the shape back together. Normally I would put this on the inside, but this is so torn up, I'm going to tape it. I often put a temporary piece of tape and then go back and add more later. All right, so I'm not sure which side was the bottom originally. I think this was the bottom. It doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna get that taped up. It's inside out now, it's reversed. Let's see how this fits. I already did check it once a little bit. I've actually got a lot of extra room in here. So I think I'll add some more bubble on the diagonal. If you have to, you can always pop those corners. That's a good fit. I'm going to add one more piece of bubble wrap on top. Just going to fold the corners in to make it fit a little better. I want to fill in that space, so I'm just... Okay, I think I've got it. Yes, I've got it. Feels good, not going anywhere. And remember that original seam here? It's time for me to add a little more to that. So I'm going to weigh this just to see what it comes in at. Got my little postal scale. Comes in at 12.1. Going to go ahead and write that down on here. Keep your fingers crossed that they pay. bubble wrap, my large bubble wrap arrived today and this is how much bubble wrap I got for just a few pennies under $20. So I have 250 feet. Let me open it up and check the quality. Quality looks pretty good. There's always going to be some that are not perfectly filled. There will always be some pop bubbles on the perimeter. A tip for you is to always keep the bag that it comes in, patch any holes that might be in the bag, that happened during transportation and put a twist tie at the top. You want to keep bugs out of this. If you store this in your basement, garage or wherever, no matter where you store it, it's a nice hiding place for bugs. So make sure that you always store it in a plastic bag. And keep it sealed, keep it sealed tight. Another little tip is to have a piece of painter's tape, not packing tape, painter's tape that's easy to peel off and restick to keep your roll of bubble wrap intact. So it doesn't just go all over the place. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'll put a little note above as to where I purchased it. I thought it was a really good deal. I can't promise that your order will be just under $20, but that's what mine came in. So that's my pack and ship video for today. I hope you give me a thumbs up and invite you to like, subscribe, ring that bell to receive notifications on future videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Be sure to check out my other pack and ships. I'll see you soon.